today we are going to discuss in about the topic is a c4 cycle okay c4 cycle what are the c4 plants okay first introduction about the c4 cycle first introduction uh, it is the alternate pathway of c3 cycle to fix co2 it is the alternate pathway of c3 cycle to fix co2 in this cycle the first formed stable compound is a four carbon compound so that's why this cycle is known as c4 cycle first uh, formed compound is a four carbon compound four carbon compound known as oxaloacetic acid that is oxaloacetic acid hence it is called as c4 cycle the pathway is also called as hotch and slack hotch and slack why because hotch and slack scientist are hotch and slack scientist are observed the c4 cycle in c4 plants so that's why this cycle is also known as hot slack cycle as they work out the pathway in 1966 and this pathway is commonly seen in many grasses sugarcane maize sorghum and amaranthus plants this pathway is commonly seen in grasses sugarcane mais sorghum and amaranthus next characteristics of c4 plant c4 plant characteristics are the c4 plants show a different type of leaf anatomy c4 plants are shows different type of leaf anatomy the chloroplast are demographic in nature and in the leaves of these plants the vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheath of larger parenchyma cell vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheath of cells here see here these are vascular bundles center of the cells are called as vascular bundles and these vascular bundles are surrounded by large cells they are called as bundle sheath cells vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheath cells this is this is the characteristic leaf anatomy in c4 plants this type of leaf anatomy is called as kranz anatomy okay see these vascular bundle sheath cells have chloroplast this chloroplast of bundle sheath are larger lack grana and contain starch grains the chloroplast in mesophyll cells are smaller and always contain grana this um, peculiar anatomy of leaves of c4 plants is called kranz anatomy this uh, anatomy is called as kranz anatomy the bundle sheath cells are bigger and look like a ring the bundle sheath cells are c these uh, this is these are called as bundle sheath cells these are called as bundle sheath cells the, uh, these are called as um and it looks like bigger in size bundle sheath cells are looks like bigger in size so this type of leaf anatomy is called as kranz anatomy okay next c4 pathway and the c4 cycle involves two carboxylation reactions and one taking place in chloroplast of mesophyll cell and another in chloroplast of bundle sheath cells in a c4 cycle two carboxylations are there one carboxylation in mesophyll cells and another carboxylation occur in bundle sheath cells okay these are four steps in c4 cycle first one is carboxylation and breakdown and splitting and photophosphorylation okay first one carboxylation this is the pathway of 
C for cycle. First one is carboxylation. In carboxylation, it takes place in the chloroplast of mesophyll cell. Takes place in the chloroplast of mesophyll cell. And phosphoenol pyruvate, three carbon compound picks up CO2 and changes into the four carbon oxaloacetate in the presence of water. Here, phosphoenol pyruvate, um, it picks up CO2 and absorbs hydrogen oxide that means water h2o by the enzyme pep carboxylase pep means phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase and it gives rise to the four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid plus phosphates okay observe here this is the mesophyll cell this is the mesophyll cell and this is the bundle sheet cell. First reaction observed in mesophyll cell. PEP carboxylase um, by the observation, observe of CO2, atmospheric CO2 and it forms the, by the enzyme PEP carboxylase, it gives rise to the 4 carbon compound oxaloacetate. Okay, this is a first carboxylation. Next breakdown. Breakdown. Oxaloacetate breakdown radially into 4 carbon malate and uh, aspirate in the presence of the enzyme malate dehydrogenase and transaminase. Here oxaloacetate uh, radially breakdowns by the enzyme transaminase and malate dehydrogenase. It gives rise to the uh, aspirate and malate. Okay, ounce diffuse diffused from the mesophyll cell in a bundle into bundle sheet cells. This malate um, diffused from the mesophyll cell into bundle sheet cells. Next, splitting. In the sheet cells, sheet cells is nothing but bundle sheet cells. Malate or aspirate, either malate or either aspirate, split enzymatically to end free CO2 and 3 carbon pyruvate. The CO2 is used in Kelvin cycle in the sheet cells and fix sugars. Okay, the CO2 is used in Kelvin cycle in the sheet cells and the CO2 is fix sugars and this malate by the enzyme decarboxylation it forms the CO2 and pyruvate. This CO2 um, enter into C3 cycle. Okay. Next phosphorylation. The pyruvate molecules are transferred to chloroplast of mesophyll cells when it is phosphorylated to regenerate. Phosphoenol pyruvate in the presence of ATP. Uh, this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme is pas pyruvate phosphokinase and the phosphoenol pyruvate is regenerated. Um, in bundle sheet cells, the pyruvate is the acceptance of ATP and pyruvate phosphokinase enzyme by the enzyme is pyruvate phosphokinase. It regenerates the phosphoenol pyruvate, PEP, phosphoenol pyruvate and byproducts of AMP or AT, uh, ADP and pyrophosphate. Okay. Orally, uh, first reaction is carboxylation occur in mesophyll cell. Here, see, first reaction carboxylation occur in mesophyll cell. The PEP carboxylase absorbs CO2. It uh, gives rise to the 4 carbon compound oxaloacetic acid. This oxaloacetic acid breaks down into malate. Okay. This malate uh, enter into the bundle sheet cell. And uh, enter into the bundle, uh, bundle sheet cell and uh, this malate splitting into pyruvate and CO2. Okay. This CO2 enter into the Kelvin cycle or C3 cycle and uh, here uh, this um, CO2 fix sugars. Okay. CO2 fix sugars and remaining pyruvate. Remaining pyruvate enter uh, into mesophyll cell and regenerate PEP. 
phosphoenol pyruvate regenerates okay by the acceptance of atp okay this is all about the c4 cycle